Okay, great level student. So in this video, we are going to do a creditors reconciliation statement. So the question paper that I have for this video is for the test that was written on March 2017. So it was a test one preparation. So let's look at the question that we have. Okay, then the first required, uh, it was a multiple choice. Okay, we can ignore this one because it's also related to creditors reconciliation statement. Okay, let's go through it. Then we're going to do a creditors reconciliation statement. Okay, then they said match the transaction column A to the journal or ledger into this transaction, uh, which is entered in column B. Okay, and they said write only the correct letter in your answer booklet. All right, then they say example 2.1 and you only have to write an alphabet as an answer okay then 1.1.1 they said opening balance of creditors at the beginning of the month okay and number two they said closing balance of all creditors account at the end of the month okay then they said general which an error in the creditors control account is corrected we have to choose that side and the other one they say the journal in which debtors note are recorded okay and the last one they said the journal in which credit note are recorded you have to know the difference between debit note and credit note okay then on the other side we have a creditors allowance journal we have creditors ledger creditors list debtors allowance journal debtors ledger and the uh, general journal all right so we have to choose the correct one so for 1.1.1 they said opening balance of the creditors at the beginning of the month so our answer will be number b opening balance at the beginning of the month guys we record it under creditors ledger okay it will be number b okay then number 1.1.2 closing balance of all creditors account at the end of the month they said the balance of all creditors we have to list them, which means that we're going to find them on the creditors list. Answer is number C. All creditors that we are borrowing something from them, we have to do a list, which means that we do them as a creditors list. Okay. For debtors, we do a debtors list for all debtors. All right. Then number 1.1.3, the journal in which an error in the creditors control account is recorded. The answer will be general general which is number f number f general general will record all the mistakes that has been done into a business okay or now all nine cash item we have to record them under general general okay then they say the, the general in which debit note are recorded so the answer is between number a and d which one do you think is correct a general in which the de debit note are recorded the answer will be number a why when we talk about a debit note it simply means that we have returned something to our supplier a credit note is when customer return to us okay which means that this one will be a creditors allowance journal creditors allowance journal will record all items that we return to supplier it's, it's number a which means that the last one general which credit note are recorded credit note simply means that customer return to us then it will be number number d letters allowance general customer return to us it's number d okay now we can go to 1.2 reconcile the statement received from a one wholesaler and creditors ledger of rb store so when we talk about a statement and creditors ledger you have to know that a statement is the one that recorded by our supplier a creditors ledger is our books which means that a credit ledger this is our books which means that a person who is working for us is the one who prepare what creditors ledger because it's our books okay let me write it here this is our books and this one 
is for suppliers books which means that we are not the one who prepared this one this one prepared by suppliers all right so is between the statement that we are reconciling is between us and the creditor which creditor guys not all of them they said a1 wholesaler okay which means that if we find another supplier we have to remove them here you have to take note of that okay then they said rb store received a statement in post from a1 wholesaler saying that the business owe an amount of 49,050 and according to the business calculation in the creditors ledger only 38,750 is owed to this creditor so as you know this statement must be the same why if i have 500 and i give you 500 which means that i take 500 and remove it to you and you receive what 500 which means that money that goes out this side and money that received this side is the same that's why we said it must balance it must give us the same amount okay for example if you again you give me back 50 rand 50 rand which means that the balances will be will be the same all right so that's why we said it must balance so in this case we found that uh, the wholesaler saying that the business owe amount of 49,000, but on our books we record 38 in our books we record 38 and 750 and the suppliers recorded an amount of 49 and 50 which means that there is something that uh, went wrong here that we have to rectify because they were supposed to be the same okay now let's look at the transaction and find out what was the problem okay transaction number one they say opening balance on 1 february on the statement received from a1 wholesaler should have been 35,000, not 38,000, which means that the problem uh, is on the statement now. It's supposed to be uh, 35,000. Then now uh, they recorded amount of 38,000, which means that we have to do what? We have to deduct 3,000. The difference between 38 and 35 is 3,000. We have to remove. 3000 that has been recorded how do we remove it by a bracket guys we have to remove 3000 how did we get this 3000 let me repeat it was supposed to be 35 they recorded more a 38 instead of 35 which means that for us to go back from 38 to 35 we have to remove 3000 it will go back to 35 which is correct which means that calculation that has been conducted here is 38,000 minus 35,000 simple as that so this is how you should conduct number one so i think there was a two marks allocation for this one and this one is one mark one mark all right so i hope you have subscribed so far guys and you have liked the video and share with friend Please guys, don't also forget to buy a study guide. If you haven't get Accounting Solution SA, a study guide for accounting that have solutions and answers so that you can prepare yourself for, for test and examination, please make sure that you contact us. A study guide is only 49 rand. Okay, let's proceed now to number two. Okay, number two, uh, it says an invoice RB store received from a1 wholesaler uh, which is amount of 7180 a trading stock purchased was omitted from creditors ledger in our books it was omitted okay number one number two it was omitted omission simply means that it was not recorded at all okay now let's check are we going to add or are we going to subtract remember when we add, we simply be means that we are increasing our liability. When we subtract, our liability is going down. Okay. In this case, we receive an invoice. If we receive invoice, simply means that 
we took something on credit we purchased something on credit okay simply means that we are owing now a liability is going up okay a liability of how much of plus seven thousand a 108 so it was omitted on the creditors ledger on our books that's why we are recording this side this side it was fine it was only on our side okay now the next one a discount of 2170 that rb store received from a1 wholesaler was not reflected on the statement received from them rb store is correct rb store is us they said on our side is correct okay this is a discount a discount do you think discount increase liability or decrease of course discount is going to reduce what the liability that we have to pay which means that we have to subtract we have to subtract an amount of two one seven okay why on this side of supplier because they said on our side this side it was correct it has been recorded already we don't have to worry about the other side okay um then it was number three okay now let's go to number four let's just put it here 2170 okay so that it can be in the same line okay number four a trading stock of seven thousand and six hundred and eighty which rb store purchased from ab wholesaler was was accidentally entered into a1 wholesalers creditors ledger okay now let's check what was the problem here if you check they said uh, a trading stock of 7680 which rb store purchased from ab wholesaler was accidentally entered into a1 wholesalers creditors ledger in other words uh, the mistake here is on our books why there's a mistake because in this case guys we are only dealing with what with a1 wholesaler not a ab warehouse in other words there is a third party here ab warehouse we are going to prepare them a separate in this case is us and a1 wholesaler which means that we have to remove that trading stock that has been purchased we have to remove it between these two a uh, company okay it's gonna be minus seven six 80 just like that now we have removed a uh, abc warehouse because it does not belong between these two we're gonna prepare them in the other way okay now let's proceed i hope you are getting everything correctly make sure that you also comment and tell me if you understand whatever that we are doing okay then 1.2.5 no entry for an amount of 1230 for stock returned by rb store to a1 wholesaler was recorded on their statement rb store has documentation to prove that this closing was returned okay this amount was a uh, amount has been returned by our business okay it's amount of 1230 okay but rb store has documentation to prove that it uh, closed in was returned which means that in other words this amount has been recorded here on our books because we have all the documents to prove that we return those items but this one they are saying that we didn't return which means that we have to come this side of supplier and do what and subtract because we return we are not going to pay it our liability must go down okay it's gonna be minus one two eight just like that okay and the last one they said rb store 
accidentally uh, recorded an invoice received from A1 wholesaler for 2200 as payment in their creditors ledger okay arbisto uh, did a mistake and record invoice received from a warehouse of 2200 as payment okay in their creditors ledger in other words they they record it as they reduce what liability and they didn't reduce liability because it's a what it's an invoice they didn't uh, they didn't pay in other ways this is an invoice that indicates that you take something on credit instead of increasing liability one day they reduce it which means that we have to record it twice why twice the first one is correcting the error the second one is doing the right thing okay the amount is 2200 which means that we are going to say number six 2200 we are adding it we are in other words we are cancelling the one that we subtracted and the second one we are recording now 2200 or you can only record amount of 4400 it will be still fine okay so this is how you should prepare a, a creditors ledger and a creditors statement so now let's calculate the total if you calculate everything this side is gonna give you 42,650 and even this side is gonna give you the same 42,650 this is what we call a, a creditors reconciliation statement so i have checked a lot of different question papers they love this format so much so please make sure that you also go and check a creditors reconciliation statement for other question papers also that you can gain more principle i did from 2016 until 2023 and other question paper during the years so i'm gonna see you on the next one